Hi, it's Holly from Twinkle and in this video I'll be sharing with you some of our counting in display resources and some different ways to use them. Of course, these are display resources so you can simply print them out and display them around your home or classroom to support your child learning to count in 20s, 50s, 100s and so on. You could display these on the wall in order, then later on put them in reverse order as children need to be able to count in these intervals forwards and backwards. Another way to use these before displaying them is to print them and mix them up and see if your child can put them in the correct order. Maybe you could time them and see if they can beat their previous time. You could do this in groups or with the whole class. These counting in threes on a caterpillar and counting in fours on ice cream activity are great to support children when learning specific time tables. Print the caterpillar with more than one to a page, cut them out and use them to help practice your child's three time tables. Ask your child a question and see if they can find the answer. Or you could even practice showing arrays. When you are confident that they know specific times tables, you could display the caterpillar showing the answers they know. It always helps children to see the multiples in order too. You could do the same with the ice cream activity and use it as a reward system. Once your child knows all of their four times tables and can tell you the corresponding division facts, you could give them a treat, like an ice cream. You'll find some counting in resources come in money form, like this counting in hundreds on one pound cutout. It can help with your child's understanding of money as well as helping them to count in hundreds. Children should know that there are 100 pennies in one pound. By seeing these cutouts, children will understand that there is also 300 pennies in three pound, and so on. Likewise, 1,800 or 1,800 could be understood as 1,800 pennies or 18 pounds. On the Twinkle website, you'll find plenty of other resources and activities to support your child when learning to count in a specific number. Whether it is to support their learning of timetables or simply to help them count in intervals. Also, check out our other display and number line videos to support your teaching in these areas. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.